Hi Flower Pots and how are we all? It's only me back with a new review. I haven't been asked to review this but I am often asked about this very subject. So, watched a few interviews at weekend, looked through a few magazines and the lovely Vicky Beckham, right, who's my age, she's 44, was asked what would you take if you could only take one item to a desert island? So I'm thinking, well, that's a bit obvious. It'll either be like David, who I don't really fancy, but everybody else in the world does, or Harper, because she's only a baby. No, she didn't say family. She didn't say Nutella chocolate spread. She didn't say Tom Hardy. She didn't say what we would think that you would say, like endless supplies of wine, chocolate. No, she said, um, we'll eat her skin food. Can you see that? I'm going to put all the details for this in the link above, right? So I thought, you fucking what? We'll eat her skin food. What the fuck's that? Now, anybody who knows me and has been following me and watching me knows that I am a skincare addict, right? Never fucking heard of this. And it's been fading skin for over 92 years now. So, clicked on the little Amazon link. Day after it with throat post. Here it is. I've used it a few times now. We'll eat that skin food for dry and rough skin. Right, so I've done a little bit of research on it and I thought, if it's good enough for fucking Vicky Beckham, that's Sticky Vicky, it's good enough for fucking Nelly with five bellies. So, get it in my baskets, come, I've had a look at it. Believe me, girls and boys, it is thick. Now, I've not been asked to review this, but I am often asked, what can I recommend for really dry, rough skin? It can be used all over, head to toe, on every part of your body. I would not be using this on my face because my lovely moon face is really oily. I have uh, oily combination skin, so that's more like an emollient, right? But I have been using this little bad boy. It smells absolutely beautiful. I can't put my finger on if it smells really lemony or citrusy, which I know is the same, but lemon is more. It's like lemon citrusy. It's really fresh smelling. I get really dry, really rough elbows. Can you hear that? Fresh from shower I am. It, they're like sandpaper, not attractive. I don't I, I don't like covering my arms up. I like wearing vest tops. I like my arms on display, but I fucking hate my elbows. Bastard twats they are. I hate them. So, for the past couple of days, I've been whacking this little bad boy on. Now, you can put it on late at night before you go sleep if you want because it does feel a little bit greasy at first and takes a little bit longer than normal to absorb. But I've been whacking it on two or three times a day, me, because it's a right problem area for me. And it does actually make the elbows really soft um, and not feel as dry as what they normally do. Um, you can, I've been, that's all I've been doing me at night and at morning and then putting it on like an hand cream. It does take a little bit longer to absorb. It's all natural stuff. Um, it's not tested on animals, you're going to ask. Um, if you do suffer with dry skin in winter, perfect. Um, I've been putting it on my legs as well. So what it says is it's got plant extracts it's all natural and it's plant extracts it's got viola camomile calendula and it's used to soothe the skin and it helps restore smoothness um, after everyday surface use it as often as you like all over so i've got icky ups i've been using it on my elbows uh, only had it a couple of days it's not a massive tube it's 75 mil but if you click the link above, it is cheap as chips and well worth having. Um, look in a few reviews, uh, boys and girls use it. And makeup artists say that they've always got it in the handbag. Julia Roberts' um, favourite skincare, Victoria Beckham's favourite body lotion uh, skincare. They use it as a little bit of lip balm. And this, I was watching this morning, I thought, what? They use it as a little bit of highlighter, especially in the winter months. You can use it as like a little bit of a highlighter. 
have a light really. But um, yeah, so that's where I'd put my highlighter. There like that, as you've all seen with my finger in finger. So yeah, you can use it, but I wouldn't use that as a full face because I've got oily combination skin and it'd just break me out. But yeah, so that's the question. That's prompted the review of the Walida skin food for dry and rough skin because I thought if it's good enough for uh, Victoria Beckham, it's good enough for me and my flower pots. So yeah, if you suffer with dry, rough skin, excellent for mature skin, then click the link above. What a find. I didn't even know it existed. Cheap as fucking chips. So there you go, flower pots. I'm always happy to bring you not just what you ask me, but things that I find that are right good. Right good, and I think it's worth a share. So if you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you've loved it, give it a heart. Give it a share with your friends and be clicking the link above. See you soon, sometime with a new review.